Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be doing a picky card all about what's gonna happen for you guys in the next 10 days. So please choose your rune. I have drawn out each of the symbols because they are a little bit difficult to see on these rose quartz because some of them aren't really that flat. So they do have these little kind of gold symbols on them. So if they're a little bit hard to see, I have drawn them out as well. So we have group number one, group two, group three, and group four. So this is what's gonna happen for you in the next 10 days. So let's get started. So please choose your group. Timestamps are down below. If you want any more time, please pause the video and let's get started. So starting off with group number one. Hello, group number one. So you guys chose this symbol which is, I don't really know how to explain it. I guess it kind of looks like a little table or something like that. So let's get started with your reading. This is actually called Perthro, Choice and Destiny. So this is what the crystal is called, what the, sorry, what the rune is called on the crystal. So this is what you guys chose. So this, as I say, is Choice and Destiny. So let's see what this guy is all about. So let me just plop her pop her there whoops and really hard to like hold on the table so that is the first card so let's have a look at your oracle cards see what else you have so we have no wait postpone pause say no we have surrender metatron miracles with the little baby so cute and then we also have jade wisdom abundance good luck and this rules aries taurus gemini libra and Venus. So this is the crystal here. I'm actually going to read this crystal as well because they're always really, really helpful. So Jade, wisdom, abundance and good luck. Jade is a highly prized and sacred, a wonderful stone for protection and healing known as the dream stone. Jade will stimulate messages and channel them into your dreams when placed on your third eye. The ultimate good luck charm, Jade promotes prosperity in every aspect of your life by opening the heart chakra and boosting your ability to receive. Wealth is nothing without your health and Jade is a reminder of this true abundance, amplifying the good fortune of your vitality. Remember, you're a spiritual being having a human experience. So this is what's gonna happen for you guys in the next 10 days. I feel as if it's really important to remember that everything will change in the right timing. I know you guys are feeling really impatient. I know you guys want things to change. You want things to shift forward. So for you guys, I feel like it's really important to surrender to this moment, to what's going on. And in the next 10 days, I do feel like you are going to have a choice. I do feel as if this can be the opposite where you don't feel as if you have a choice because things have, are feeling really uncomfortable. Um, but there is gonna be some sort of shift happening. So what I really like about this card is it's showing us that we have Saturn here. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's a little sign of Saturn. And Saturn is the planet, as I always mention, is the planet of the old, he's the old man of the planets. He's the one that tells us what to do and what we have to go through to get to where we need to be. And we can't, we basically can't avoid it. So what it's basically telling you is to not force anything, to understand that everything is happening in divine timing. And if things are feeling stuck and still right now, just remember that actually things, miracles can come out of those sort of still moments, okay? And within the next 10 days, they're really basically saying to surrender to this moment and not to force or push. And it's just a reminder that you are on the right path. You're not missing anything. You're not going to miss this opportunity. There is going to be miracles changing and happening in your life. I do feel like your heart chakra is really being initiated. Um, this is also to do with your love life as well. Sorry, that's a little bit of um, pollen on the, uh, <laughs> on the table. I do feel as if you guys are having some really intense dreams. So this is just affirming that you're going to change through dreams. So that basically you're going to see change more through your dreams than in physical reality right now. And I do feel like it's going to be miracles occurring through this change. And this can obviously be um, babies because there's a little baby here. So some of you guys could be where we are kind of indoors more. You could be falling pregnant You could, where you may not have thought, oh, I don't need to be pregnant. It could be that sort of thing. I do feel as if this is actually about seeing through the fog. So I do feel like when you're sitting still and you're not really doing much, we tend to overthink and actually when we can calm our thoughts and think more clearly, I do feel like you're going to get a lot of downloads from spirit and a lot of help from the universe to help you understand where you're going. And we do have this gorgeous uh, clear quartz or diamond here. So it feels as if through this pressure, you're going to be, this a diamond is going to be created 
through this pressure you are going to find out why things have happened the way they are and I do really like this card because sometimes we can force and push things and think oh you know I need to try harder I need to push harder I need to be something different I need to do something different when actually you just got to be yourself and I do feel like with the lightning it's showing me that when you get to that part of the end of the tunnel it's like things will suddenly shift for you okay I'm here in September so I don't feel like things are going to change in September but I mean it could be this is a general reading but I do feel as if some of you guys are born in September or something shifted in September that changed your future. I do feel like a lot of you guys are Virgos. I'm really picking up on that. I feel like you guys have had a really hard life or the last few years have been really hard. And funnily enough, for those of you who have Virgo in your chart really strongly, um, rising mainly, you guys have had um, a really hard time because Saturn's been in your fifth house fifth house which is about where basically wherever Saturn is it basically changes the the kind of the way it is interacted with so basically with the fifth house is actually about fun but when you put Saturn in there it changes it and makes you kind of have to focus on things that are literally the opposite of that so kind of concentrating on your work really feeling really focused it could also be those of you who have Virgo moon or sun as well I just feel like there's a, a really strong need to clear things up and clear things out. So you could be really um, clearing out your home, doing some cleaning, things like that. I just feel like there's a need to cl feel clearer. So it could be literally be an, the next 10 days is like a cleansing week, which I know isn't fun, but sometimes it's just necessary, you know, and it's affirming that it's meant to happen and that you're not doing anything wrong for this kind of shift to change. OK, oops, shift to happen. All right. So let's get you some tarot and let's see what's going on for you guys. Okay, so let's get you some tarot. Let's see what's going on for you guys. Group number one in the next 10 days. We have the 10 of wands. Oops. We have the queen of wands. Lovely. You guys are feeling really passionate and really um, creative and feeling the intensity of the energy. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys feel a little bit stressed out just because you're feeling just really restricted and there is so much restriction going on right now, um, which is showing up in the astrology as well. Okay, seven of swords. Let's get one more. <laughs> okay, there could be a partnership going on. I feel like there's actually a little bit of conflict within your partnerships. So those of you who are in a partnership, make sure to really get some distance from them at the moment because I feel like you need to get some fresh perspective and you are actually getting some fresh perspective. So it might be that you guys are kind of waking up or your partner's waking up to uh, the energies or spiritually they're waking up and it could be stressing your relationship out. It could be like literally stressing the situation out. So just be aware that this is meant to happen. It's meant to kind of come up. I feel as if there's definitely some emotions occurring here. We had the moon. And we have the Seven of Swords, which is literally like conflict and just feeling like confused and just really feeling like out of control. I feel like with the King of Wands, I do feel as if some of you guys are literally destined to meet someone in the next 10 days. I feel that so strongly because we have the star. And can you see how the star is like kind of facing away from the moon? So it's showing me that you guys are kind of not wanting to go into your emotions right now because it feels so intense. And I just feel like it's time for you to really evaluate what those emotions are and go into them because I do feel it's important for you to recognize those emotions because there's a definitely a strong shift happening. So let me just clarify this Seven of Swords. It could be somebody. Yeah, I definitely feel like it's something to do with relationships. Definitely. Yes. Okay, can we clarify just one more? It's like positive or something that's a change. Okay. Four of Wands. You guys could be moving house with your partner. For those of you who are single, I just feel like you got, oh, okay. I'm hearing you guys are really stressed out because you're single. You're really confused. You're like, why am I not attracting a partnership? Why is this not happening? Feeling like out of uh, the loop, out of like you can't trust the universe. What is showing me is you need to go through these emotions to get to this partnership. It feels like it's destined to happen once you realize like what your emotions actually are because underneath all of this there is there is definitely a reason why we feel things and sometimes it's not always clear but I feel like it's time to really clear out 
um, kind of any outdated beliefs about yourself and not to self-sabotage self and kind of go into the stress because I feel like it's a massive transformational period for you guys and you're going to feel much more clearer. So I do feel after this 10 days, I feel like literally after, you're going to manifest something that feels really comfortable for you because you've gone through this uncomfortable period. And it does feel like you're literally at the end of it because you are, sometimes when we're at the end of something, it can feel even more uncomfortable. It's kind of like when you leave school or you're like at the end of the school year and you're ready for the new year, but it hasn't happened yet. So it's like all the students are really stressed out and then you're, you're in the middle of it and you're just completely stressed out. That's kind of what I'm feeling. It's like I'm seeing expansion. I'm seeing confirmation that things are changing it's like you have to just go through a couple of speed bumps and go over a couple of speed bumps to kind of like slow down it is literally like you're in a car it's about to like break down you're going over speed bumps you're like oh my god am I gonna make it to my destination and then you you literally do by the skin of your teeth <laughs> which sounds make it sounds really bad but basically it's like you are using everything you've got to kind of push you where you're needing to be and it's because this of this possibility of the conjunction that's going on right now that's really shifting a lot of old patterns so you may think okay why lord why are you doing this to me but actually it's meant to happen it's literally meant to happen and you're being guided towards commitment towards long-term relationships and connections it just might not feel like it right now okay so let's have a look and see um, what's the main focus for the next 10 days where are you heading towards and things like that so let's have a look and see what's going on for you guys What's going on? Where are we heading? Group number one. Okay, we've got two cards. <laughs> oh my God. We have transformation. You're literally transforming the way you communicate. Your throat shark could really be feeling it. I feel as if there's a massive, mass, a massive shift with the way you communicate, the way you see things, and it could be within your friendships as well. There could be a lot of new friendships coming up, but you could be feeling quite lonely and confused and like, why is this happening? This is getting to right to the deep to the bottom of something. And because it's like an ending of a cycle, it's needing to clear out literally every single thing before you can move forward. I do feel like it's a massive sense of impatience, but I do feel like it's going to be a breakthrough. And I feel like you're going to have a little bit of an uncomfortable day within the next Next 10 days and then it's going to be like boom shift done and then you're moving forward okay that's what I'm feeling I know guys this isn't the most like comfortable message but this isn't the most comfortable energy it feels a little bit confusing but I do feel as if this is confirmation that you're doing the work you're doing everything everything will happen in divine time we have the star she's all about divine timing she's the water bearer she's Aquarius it's the age of Aquarius guys it's really shifting us more towards communication and Wi-Fi and all those sort of things like working from home, all those sort of things. So for you guys, you could get a massive revelation within your career. You could want to start up your own business. You could get some really lovely messages from people online. I'm feeling that just sense of confirmation. You feel like things are feeling really confused and heated and then boom, massive confirmation from the universe. So I hope this helps you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you'd like a private reading or you wanna check out my crystal store, all the information's down below. I really appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here on my channel. And I'll speak to you soon. Much love. Bye. Hello, group number two. Thank you so much for being here. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose the X. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to try and show you close up. This is like X marks the spot, basically. That's kind of what I'm feeling. It's like, that's where I want to go. That is my goal. So I feel like that's what you're focusing on right now. So I need to just move some of this pollen away. <laughs> These are real flowers. So they kind of sometimes uh, kind of disintegrate on my table. <laughs> so let's have a look and see. So this X is called Gibo. So this is generosity and balance. Beautiful. I love this. So, so beautiful. So let's see what oracle cards you have for you guys for group number two. We have protection, call back your power, cut the cords, soul retrieval. Share your voice, come out of your cave, persecution, expression. This is making me feel a bit anxious, this card. Um, I feel like it's time for you to speak up and it's, it's scary, but it's, it's where you're meant to go. Benediction, Gabriel, ancestors. And the last card we have is a crystal card. This is Garnet. I absolutely love Garnet. Garnet is one of my absolute favorite crystals. It helps you come back to you. It helps you come back to your safe space where you feel the most comfortable. So let me read this crystal. Okay, so Garnet. It says sexu sexuality, life force and intensity. This is this is sexual healing in its highest form. Garnet is a stone of love, passion, and devotion, removing blocks to the desires of your heart. 
Step into your sexual power and embrace your body, removing all judgments that stand in the way of you and your pleasure. When using in tandem with tantric sex, garnet can heighten the experience, attracting partners that can help heal sexual trauma. Garnet helps identify and illuminate self-sabotaging behaviours, expanding your connection to mind, body and spirit. This rules Leo, Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius and Mars. So the Mars energy is making me feel like you guys are really being forced to do something right now and it feels really positive. It feels as if you guys are feeling really scared and nervous about this next step, but it's actually moving you forward in a really positive way. So with Gibo, this is actually about Pisces. This is generosity and balance. So because this is ruled by Pisces, it says a little uh, Pisces sign there. Because Pisces is all about spirituality, it's the 12th house, it's endings, closures, healing, all that beautiful stuff. I do feel as if there's a part of you that's needing to reach forward now. I feel like you're moving into your first house, which is Aries, which is literally Mars. So I feel as if, which is a Garnet as well, I feel like you're learning to come out of a passive energy, in an energy where you feel like you can't speak your truth, you have to fully um, kind of hide yourself, be somebody else, all those things, you're coming away from that. And benediction means it's, I mean, I had to Google this because I didn't actually know what benediction means. And it says the utterance of a blessing, especially at the end of a religious service. And I love this because Pisces is all about, um, it can relate to religion, it's spirituality, it's things that we can't physically hold. So with this being because about a spiritual service, it feels as if that religious service or spiritual service is literally your life. It's like part of your life is now ending. And it could even be that you guys are coming away from Christianity or a religion, going into more into spirituality or something like that. It feels as if maybe not even literally a religion, it could literally be the way you feel like you had to be in your life, you're now moving away from it. So I do feel like it's time for you to call back your soul, calling back what feels right for you and sharing your voice. There's a definite energy around sharing our voice at the moment, especially with Gemini. So in the next 10 days, you're going to be really pushed to share your voice. And this can be on social media. This can be to your parents, to your, I'm hearing guardians, um, even to kind of an animal. It could be you have a new animal and you're trying to teach it to, you know, sit, stand, pee in the right place, <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. So it could be about you really stepping into your power, being the authority figure, and maybe where you're not kind of used to being that. And Pisces are, can be quite passive. They are very gentle beings. They're very sacred. They're very um, sensitive. So you may be somebody who is like that, who is very sensitive, who doesn't like kind of ro rocking the boat, you know, but your ancestors are here. They're kind of calling you to speak your truth. They're here to support you. And they're basically they're saying you're, you are you for a reason. You know, you if you, were, if you were meant to be somebody else, you would be, but you're you, you know, and that makes you special. That makes you beautiful. And this is all about your passions, your life force, what lights you up, what makes you feel comfortable, what makes you feel like you want to get up in the morning and do your thing, you know? And a lot of the energy right now is very stuck. It feels very confused. It's basically telling us to go inward. And I know it can be really uncomfortable, but if there is anything that you really have to cut some cords with and you're like, hmm, maybe I could cut a cord with somebody today, I definitely would recommend it. I do feel that like you guys need to sage your energy, like sage your um, aura. This can be with an incense stick. This can be with some selenite or some clear quartz. I have a gorgeous like clear quartz here. So something like clear quartz or something like that, um, or selenite, you can get like a wand or something, you know, something to clear your energy. I just feel like there's a massive need to cleanse and kind of allow yourself to speak your truth. And if you feel this urge coming from your solar plexus, like urging you to be like, right, I need to say something, I need to say something, I'm going to say it. Just frigging say it. Just go for it. Don't even worry about what they think. As long as it feels true to you and you're being authentic and naturally authentic, not like, oh, I'm going to argue with them. That's authentic. Like authentic authenticity is you being diplomatic, is you being gentle, is you being for both sides, but also speaking your truth in a way that doesn't, you know, make some sort of conflict is to really just speak your truth and allow that to come out. And if it does call conflict, then just walk away. You know, some people aren't meant to hear things. And, you know, if somebody has a very strong belief on something, it can feel quite uncomfortable to kind of you know, go against it. But if you feel there's a massive need to push forward and speak your truth, then frigging go for it. Because I feel like there is this um, gorgeous lunar eclipse, or this could be a solar eclipse here. This is the sun and the moon coming together. So the sun is all about the masculine, the moon is a feminine. So it's basically about you using your feminine energy, your emotions to push you forward. What are you passionate about? Is there something you haven't kind of gotten around to yet that you've kind of been putting off? 
Um, you could also be having a really nice conversation with a Leo, Virgo, Capricorn or Aquarius or have a really strong, I'm hearing debate and I actually heard arguments. So I wouldn't be surprised if you guys had an argument this this in the next 10 days. Obviously, I'm not going to predict that and put that out there for you guys. But I was seeing like an argument, but it doesn't feel like anger. It feels like passion. So you guys, if you're in a partnership or you're, you're dating, it might be a a conversation turning into like, you know, intimacy, you know, <laughs> it feels like that for some reason, I suddenly got you guys organizing, organizing your sock drawer. That's yeah. just like the little things, you know, that, that can actually turn into quite big things. You know, if we can feel organized, it can actually make such a big difference to our mental health. Um, and our thoughts, you know, it can help us feel, feel a lot clearer. So let's see what's happening for you guys in the next 10 days. I feel like you guys are doing some massive amounts of thinking. Yeah. Eight of Cups, just feeling really like you have to just step back. I feel like you guys might be talking to a Pisces, so just keep getting that really strongly. You could be a water sign talking to a Pisces as well. I feel as if you guys are changing something within your career. You're having a little think about the way your career is set out. So if you're a boss, you may be kind of changing the workplace, um, changing things around so it's easier for everyone in the workplace. Um, just something like that. Let's get a couple more cards. Beautiful. We have the devil. I love the devil. Not many people like the devil, but I love him because it's basically about you like recognizing something that maybe is uncomfortable, but actually changes you. I do feel because we had in that Garnet card, let me grab it again. It says about identifying and illuminating self-sabotaging behaviors that is this this is like a capricornian energy it could be around your money it could be you guys spend a lot of money in the next 10 days or splurge on something feels like that or it could be you're coming back to your power and kind of making sure you're not spending too much underneath we have the knight of swords and the ace of cups i feel as if you're recognizing how to communicate in your connections in your relationships i feel as if there may be some sort of f boy or f girl coming back from the past somebody you really don't want to deal with but i feel like you're just concentrating on you and i feel like you're going to get a lot of benefit from this feeling i feel like there's an energy of kind of waiting for something to change and i do feel this is going to happen I see there's going to be a flip within your energy. You're going to feel much more clearer. You're going to feel like you can kind of go forward. And I do feel there's going to be some sort of big shift in your mindset and the way you see yourself, the way you see your environment. And you're really working really hard, you know, and I don't really kind of promote working like hard, you know, so you like burn yourself out. Whenever I say working hard, it's basically like you're enjoying having a daily practice or you know, doing something that you love on a daily basis or just working, you know, working day to day, kind of getting that monies, you know, I feel like you're working on some sort of project as well. And it's going to have a really nice outcome. Um, within the next 10 days, I see you working on something that's really detail orientated. I'm getting a lot of Virgo from this group as well, like a, a massive sense to organize and um, kind of shift things around. So they feel much more clearer. But I feel like you guys may even be thinking about moving. I'm seeing you buying things for organization, maybe like a label maker, plastic boxes, something like that. It sounds really mundane, but it actually, when we get organized, it can actually feel really comfortable. And I'm seeing palm trees and I'm hearing, um, uh, I'm actually hearing the Himalayas and I'm hearing um, like Hawaii and things like that. It begins with a H. And this is so random, but you know me guys, I'm gonna, I get mad, random messages. Uh, I'm hearing the word hallelujah, <laughs> hallelujah, um, there's something else as well, what is that, um, I'm hearing like Hendrick, I know there's a person called Jimi Hendrix, is that a singer, I have no idea, um, <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what I'm seeing for you guys, so let's see um, what else is coming for you guys, let me get my astrology, okay, I just looked up Jimi Hendrix, he's an American musician, I hope that he's not you know, in a bad way, because sometimes I maybe pick up on somebody that's a bit dodgy. So hopefully he's not a dodgy character because I'm not picking up on anything dodgy. I'm just seeing like some sort of uh, situation kind of come into ending and then come into like a revelation. Yeah, we've got Pisces here. So underneath we have Gemini. I think you guys are doing a lot of thinking. You guys are thinking about things that you want to change up in your environment. Beautiful. I, I swear I was picking up on Pisces and Virgo for you. Um, I feel that it's a massive change within your body. Um, Virgo can rule the body as well. Virgos are extremely sensitive. Um, even though they're about the sixth house, I mean, they are about 
um, work and fitness and health. So you guys are really shifting your health. I do feel like needing to bring in your spirituality towards your health. So you may be really focusing on your spirituality. Now it's time to focus on health or vice versa, having a nice balance. And the first house is all about self appearances, beginnings, the body, first impressions. So you guys may be going on a date with a Pisces, something like that. I do see your approach to life is definitely shifting. Um, the way you're seeing your body, the way you're seeing your spirituality is changing. Pisces actually rules the, the um, 12th house. So it's funny how we have the uh, 12th house and the first house. It does look like you're changing and moving into something new. And I love this uh, woman here. She kind of reminds me of this one here. So it's definitely changing something, bringing in something new. And I do see your identity is shifting. And you may, some of you guys may have an identity crisis, not literally in the, in the next 10 days, but I feel like you may be going through that right now. And Gemini does rule kind of identity and things like that and identity crises. So if you guys are going through that, you know, sending you lots of love, you're gonna be fine. Um, but I see things unraveling and there's lots of intense dreams and, and things like that coming through. And I do feel like you guys are working towards your dreams. You're understanding what your dreams are and you're working on that really nicely, okay? So that is your reading, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. We also have 11.11 on the clock, which is amazing. Um, if you'd like a private reading or you wanna check out my crystal store, please do, uh, the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So you guys chose this little, almost like a little, bird footprint <laughs> like a I'm hearing a crow's foot and that's I know because that can be sound quite dodgy actually but yeah so I'm seeing like a, a little bird footprint and the this is actually called Elhaz protection and shield so this is the card that you guys are looking into right now this also rules Cancerian which is a beautiful so the sign of cancer so you could be a Cancerian uh, this could also indicate that you guys are working on your emotional side right now. Uh, this could also indicate love. I, I'm feeling like a really nice wholehearted love vibe. Um, this is kind of reminding me of um, the heart chakra. So you guys could be working on your heart chakra right now. And we do have the sign of air, I'm pretty sure that is, um, which is like right in the corner here. If, I, if I'm wrong, just let me know. Pretty sure this is air. It's like a triangle. It's got like a little line at the top. Okay, so... Let's get started with your reading. Let me grab the oracle cards. Let's see what you guys have. So we have don't dim to fit in. How are you dimming your light in order to fit in? Shamayel, beginnings. Oh, I love a good beginning, girl. I love it. <laughs> yes, queen. Okay, we also have the pillar. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sacred sexuality. And we have this lovely little cute crystal, which is a crystal of blue spinel, 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 I, I don't know. <laughs> Persistence, fresh perspective and revival. Revived, keep alive. Blue spinel brings new energy to stagnant parts of your life. Yes, <laughs> yes. Um, from inside your body to the out to the world outside. The name of this stone comes from the Latin word for spine, so it probably is spinal. Um, and blue spinal will give you a strong backbone, sense of self, and reason to stand tall despite any challenges you may face. This is a great crystal for workaholics as it eases stress and anxiety and installs a renewed sense of revolution. You can make it to the end if you put your mind to it. Blue spinal provides uh, that fresh perspective to reset and reduce. This rules Gemini and Pluto. So Pluto is a really big energy. Pluto is the, the guy that, uh, one of the planets that rules uh, is Scorpio, pretty sure. So Pluto is a really intense energy. He's, the, he's a shifter, he's a changer, he's a transformer. Uh, not the car transformers, <laughs> uh, but I don't know if you guys, that might be a synchronicity for some of you. I feel as if, yeah, I mean, actually, with transformers is, they they can like basically make themselves from one thing to another. So I feel like you guys, that could also be pertaining to dimming to fit in. And my guides are like nodding their heads right now. So that's cool. So I feel like for you guys, it's really, really important for you to constantly keep checking in with yourself. I need to burp, excuse me. I feel like you're definitely shifting towards something that is of the heart. You are really learning to express your sexuality, your creativity, your feminine energy, whether you're a feminine, female or a male. Everyone has uh, masculine and feminine energy. I just feel like you're starting something new 
And I'm going to read a little bit of this pillar because with the pillar, I feel that it's something quite important. And it has like two little hearts here. We have like little snakes as well. And I feel like it's kind of representing the uh, masculine and the feminine. So let me have a look and see if I can find this card. So the pillar here, it says, if you find yourself in the shadow of pillar, ask yourself, where can I soften? Where can I put my boundaries? What are my personal needs? And how can I go about meeting those for myself? So this is about filling up your own cup, um, but do not forget to push yourself. This is also about reaching new heights. This is about using your gifts. And it says, if you have been resisting a new opportunity or role that has presented itself, it is time to step into it and trust that you will learn as you go. So I feel like this is just a new journey for you. I feel like something new is changing and coming up for you. And with both these energies, I really like the, um, the kind of symbolism of this almost like doorway and then we have this circle this kind of reminds me of the masculine and the feminine and i feel like you are basically putting both of those into place into practice so the masculine is about assertion this is the um the kind of lighter version of the masculine so we've got the lighter version and we've got the shadow version the light version is like forward movement action organization things like that and then the feminine energy is about kind of pure love it is the energy of creation it's birthing things like that so if you put those two together i mean you get babies <laughs> um you also get an energy of productivity and feeling accomplished so i feel like you guys are really moving into that and i do feel like you're working on your throat chakra and i do feel like with the gemini and pluto there's parts of you that really don't want to speak up um, so I feel like you'll learn to work on that. It could be to do with your singing. You could be a singer or you just really enjoy singing. And you'll learn to also protect your energy. You guys are very, very sensitive. So because you guys are extra sensitive, being aware of your energy and how it affects others or how others affect you is really, really important. If you want to move forward without kind of being affected by others, it's, it's really important to cut cords, to allow yourself to have time away, to have space. But just recognize that when you protect yourself, it can be really, really effective and it can actually shift you forward quite quickly. So protecting yourself can be wearing black onyx. It can be being aware of people's behavior and how it's affecting you, getting out in nature, um, releasing any energy that no longer serves you. Just saying that affirmation and just opening your hands up like that can be really helpful. Dancing, fitness, all those things can really help you shift your vibration. And we also have beginnings, which is literally this doorway is so perfect. I feel like you guys are coming into this newfound new you and this little kind of footprint bird bird footprint looking symbol it looks like you're kind of it is the moving forward and cancerian is a very gentle energy it rules the fourth house it can be your moving house you could be thinking about moving house i do feel this is all about your foundation like your home yourself your body is your home you know so i feel as if you are doing a lot of self-care or needing to do some self-care and just being really kind to yourself cancers can be really hard on themselves um they can also hold on to things for quite a long time, but we do have persistence. So I do feel like you guys are coming into a new fresh perspective. You're coming into a new energy. This is all about you having the backbone to move forward, not forcing anything. But also this is actually, this is saying that it's bringing in new energy. So be aware that something is going to change for you. You're going to get some fresh perspective on something and it's going to be a massive shift happening for you in the next 10 days. So be aware that that's going to come for you guys. So it may come in the form of you needing to have a day of crying and then something shifts, you know, it might not, it might be you la randomly laughing for the, for the next 10 minutes, you know, it, it just feels as if there's something like a big um, overwhelming shift within your emotions and we have temperance. I'm getting like really strong Aquarian energy now that I've pulled that card. So I do feel like this is to do with the new Aquarian age that we're going into. Yeah, this is massive Aquarian energy written all over it, girl. Okay, this is really lovely. Page of Wands. You're just seeing things more clearer and you're picking yourself over everyone else, which is really nice. That is Cancerian written all over it. That is childhood. That is the home. That is family. That is you focusing on what parts of you can you really appreciate and, and work on i feel like you're going into a job where it really suits your um i'm hearing your third eye and your heart chakra so that's to do with your spirituality it's to do with your um unconditional love yeah we have the empress that's beautiful empress empress we have temperance and the empress together on either side which is really positive so it's like you're choosing yourself you're manifesting some new friendships in the next few days as well and this is just really positive yeah look at that 
ultimate Cancerian energy with the Ace of Cups. Can you clarify what the Ace of Cups is, please? And get a bit more sp specific. I've seen you guys building an igloo. I know it sounds really random, but it's basically about you building something and then finally getting the result of it. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful. What's underneath that? I feel like you guys are a little bit nervous, but I do feel like there is somebody new coming in towards you. There's just some sort of massive revelation because we have the Ten of Cups as well. So you're feeling satisfied. Maybe in the next couple of days, it's going to take a little while for this to shift. But I do feel as if you're going to start to feel a little bit more satisfied. You're going to be like, yes, this is the right time for me. I know what I'm doing. Um, I'm, I feel clearer. I feel like I can speak clearer. Um, also with the Six of Cups, this is just you choosing yourself over everybody else, which is really nice. And I feel like because you're very sensitive, it can be really hard for you to choose yourself. So I feel like you're coming into just the new you and you're using this now. And the Ace of Cups is our ultimate fulfillment. Ace of Cups is my favorite card. I mean, I'm a triple water sign, so you know it's probably gonna be my, my favorite card. So let's see what's coming towards you guys more specifically. 10th house, which is lovely. The 10th house rules reputation. It's actually about masculine energy. So it's interesting because the fourth house is about um, mother and women and the 10th house is about masculine and men. So you are literally manifesting a new version of you and it could be that you literally do manifest a new person as well. There's somebody who just gets you, who understands you and I'm getting a lot of acid reflux around my heart area. So I do feel like something is is exiting the premises and coming in. And the 10th house is all about your reputation. It's long-term goals. So you're actually, people are noticing you more because you're focusing on yourself um, and people want that energy. So just be aware that when you start focusing on yourself, you're gonna recognize who isn't good for you. And um, it could be that you att start attracting people that just aren't good for you because they're they're basically like moths to a flame. They're really attracted to your light. So <laughs> here we go, fourth house, perfect. So yeah, it could be a massive change within your home, within your way you see yourself, and we have water, which is lovely. So I just feel that there's a sense of feeling clearer, and I do feel as if a lot of you guys are gonna be clearing out your home. Um, and say the fourth house is also to your children, it's emotions, you're gonna to start to feel kind of intense with your emotions, but it feels really nice. It feels as if you're understanding yourself more. And Chiron is actually, a, can be an uncomfortable energy, but it can be extremely healing. I do feel like there's a massive sense of that you've healed yourself now. You've healed a gigantic part of your energy, really going into, like, come, sorry, coming away from a karmic cycle. And it's almost like we have the 10th house and the 4th house, and these are literally opposite each other on the, on the chart. So it feels as if you're focusing on yourself. You could also be focusing on a business at home and kind of figuring out, okay, should I do this? And that's confirmation. If you guys want to start something, I do see that happening for you guys. So I also want to grab um, my astrology dice and just kind of see what else is coming towards you. To do, can we have it to do with other people, like friendships, family, because we've got a lot of fourth house. So let's see what's going on in that area. Okay, we have the ninth house, Taurus, and we also have Uranus. Okay, so the ninth house is Sag. Uh, the ninth house is also to do with your travel, it's to do with higher education, things like that wisdom. So it feels as if there's something around stability to do with travel. Okay, what's that about please? Can you tell me what this is all about? Okay, so I'm hearing some of you guys are going to meet a Taurus who's like going to be, who's going to be abroad. It's going to be like major change. And it's going to change your home because maybe you move in with them or something. Not obviously within the 10 days, not within the 10 days, but this is leading up to it. So Uranus is about major change, like random change. So this is really unexpected. And the ninth house is definitely to do with like, it could be even a Sagittarius as well. It could be a Taurus that you'd live with. Something happens with them and changes with them. But it feels like I'm focusing on Taurus and the 10th house. So this is also to do with you being recognised. This is you feeling stable within your career um, or starting to get a newfound of newfound concentration or newfound stability within your career. I just see this stability coming towards you and it feels really nice. It feels really homely. Taurus and Cancerian go extremely well together. So there's definitely a match of some sort that's happening, whether it's with someone or a career or a new opportunity. It feels like yes, finally, I found this, whatever this is. Okay, so thank you so much for watching, guys. If you would like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal store, all the information is down below. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you. I hope you have a lovely day and I will speak to you soon. Much love.
Bye. Hello, my lovely group number four. Let's get started with your reading. You guys chose the arrow. So this is what that looks like. Ta-da. Okay. <laughs> I heard that baba from um, Rugrats. I don't know if you guys have ever seen Rugrats, but I just heard that baba thing. <laughs> Maybe you guys are watching Rugrats. Um, okay, so this arrow rules Libra. It also rules the sign of air, and it's called Tiwaz. Bear in mind, sometimes I can't pronounce these, so just, <laughs> you know, take it as it resonates. Tiwaz, courage and justice. Libra, written all over it, okay? So that's really, really lovely. I'm getting a newfound sense of important energy coming through. And I'm hearing a newfound important, important energy, newfound sense of importance, something like that, okay? So let's have a look and see what cards you have. First card out, deep replenishment. I'm actually, I actually had deep resentment. So I don't know if you guys are resenting something, but just let you guys know that you're probably balancing out something emotionally. So if you're feeling like resentment towards something, just work on it and actually go into that emotion and see what that's all about. Because it may be you just need to forgive yourself around something. And when we forgive other people, that literally is us forgiving ourselves. Okay, so I'm also recommending you guys Howlite. Um, I really feel like Howlite is really important for you guys. And I'm not sure what it is about it. It's something to do like it's calming and it's really um, st stable. It's kind of like marble. It's very um, strong and it's really just really pretty and natural. And I actually have a Howlite um, tower here to show you what Howlite looks like. It's really beautiful. It's kind of like marble. It's very, very stunning. So I highly recommend that. Um, they will hopefully be going up in my shop very soon as well, but I do have custom jewelry as well if you want to grab yourself some Howlite. But I highly recommend Howlite. It's just, it's just coming through really strongly. Friendship, you're real. I'm actually just hearing like how. How am I going to get there? So let's see what that's all about. The Sage. And the two crystals that you guys have is snakeskin agate. Look at that. That is so intense. Snakeskin agate. And we also have sulfur, which is volcanic progress, inventive, Leo sun, Gemini, Mercury. So that literally could be in your chart or you could be kind of talking to somebody with Gemini, Mercury or Leo sun, something like that. You could be manifesting a Leo or a Gemini person into your life. So I'm going to read both of these. If you guys aren't really interested in me reading them, I'm going to put them up onto the screen and now so you guys can read them for yourself because they're quite long. So I just, if you want to skip this part, then please do if you're not interested in me reading them. So snake skin, okay, strength, privacy and self-love. Being comfortable in your own skin takes time and snakeskin agate helps boost self-esteem and self-awareness so you can just so you can do just that. Snakeskin agate gives you the confidence to step outside your comfort zone and explore new aspects of yourself all within your discre discretion. Snakeskin agate can blend into the crowd so if you don't want to be seen and wish to carry on with your activities in peace this is a stone for you. Snakeskin agate is able to facilitate a kundalini rising and encourage full embodiment of self. That is really interesting because Gemini is all about the self. It's all about kind of finding your identity and finding your place in the world and being confident with that as well. So I do see that you might meet somebody who's also a Gemini. You could be a Gemini having a Gemini friend or something like that. But Gemini is about the twins and we do have two people here. So that's quite interesting. It's kind of like finding your match or finding yourself again. I'm hearing finding yourself again, feeling free. Sulfur, volcanic progress inventive. Sourced from volcanic areas, sulfur is an excellent, compa excellent companion for bottled up emotions that can manifest as skin conditions, fevers and emotional outbursts. And it's quite funny because this is snake skin. So that's really interesting. It's something to do with your skin as well. Uh, sulfur has a negative electric charge, allowing it to absorb toxicity and destructions from your surroundings. Sulfur also brings to light the natural disasters in your personal landscape, highlighting your shadows in order to clear the path for renewal. This opens up awareness for triggers that can cause eruption, placing consciousness in, into action. So I feel as if you guys are getting a little bit of itchy skin. This could be to do with needing to go outside more, getting some more air, uh, maybe opening your windows. I do feel as if sometimes um, with your skin, it can be uh, you have an allergic reaction to possibly sugar. Sugar can actually cause a lot of skin reactions, especially now we're going into the age of Aquarius, the more kind of natural energy. There's definitely a need to cut back on things because our energy is definitely ascending to the 5D. So a lot of us can get really sensitive to food. So obviously I'm not a health practitioner, so take this as it resonates, but I do feel there's definitely something to do with your skin. Um, it could be having more spots. Also just be aware guys, that a lot of people aren't picking up on this, but I'm seeing a lot of people online, like kind of saying I have a lot of spots. Look at where those spots are because 
sometimes it can actually relate to a certain part of the body. So if I remember, there's actually a photo that kind of shows you what is actually happening within your body. So I'll put that up here as well, um, just to show you guys what that is. But remember guys, if you guys are wearing masks, um, you will have a lot of spots around your mouth, okay? So just be aware that if you are having spots all of a sudden, it could be through stress, anxiety, but it could also be if you, if you are wearing a mask, you know, not everyone, does and that's I mean I'm totally okay with that it's not my it's not my thing to say but I do feel like if you are wearing a mask there is definitely um, a lot of stress around your mouth so if you are getting spots because obviously you're breathing in your own air there's going to be a lot of mess that's going to be around basically we breathe out the, the air that we're meant to you know dispel it's not meant to be there so if we've got a mask that's holding in all that crap you know you're going to have spots so just be aware that could be affecting you as well obviously I am not a health practitioner but if that is something that is coming up for you just be aware okay um so that's the tea let's move on okay so the sage is all about you taking away anything that no longer serves you. And it could be something to do with your teeth as well. I do see you need to speak more. Uh, you may have a bit of an insecurity around your mouth, your teeth, something like that, as say it could be spots or something as well. But I do see you releasing things and kind of allowing yourself to um, kind of, I do feel a, little, a lot of toxicity is being excreted through your skin. So you may be getting like hot sweats, um, a lot of like a red face. You might be getting ear ringing, a lot of things like that because you are literally releasing a lot of old stuff that needs to go, whether that be physically, emotionally, all that jazz. I do see the need for you to um, kind of find, you're finding a new sense of security. You are feeling a little bit like you need to be alone right now. So if you do need to do that, definitely do that for yourself. And with the friendship, I see because we have their back, I'm hearing when my back is turned, I feel uncomfortable. So for you guys, it's really important to find a new sense of safety within yourself and how find that however you can. Um, but you're definitely needing to retreat and kind of hide away for a little bit, however that feels. Because sometimes if we feel a bit overwhelmed, sometimes we don't even know what it is. So Literally, it could be an ascension symptom. If you're a sensitive person, you're going to you're gonna basically feel the collective energy. And sometimes that can be really effing annoying because <laughs> we're human beings. We need to be practical, you know, but it's really important for us to also tune to ourselves and figure out what is it that I need to work on right now. Um, and if you need some privacy, go get some privacy, girl. Maybe you just need to kind of relax and do your own thing for a while. Um, and if you're not sure where you're going, maybe you're not you're just not meant to know yet. You know, maybe you're meant to know soon, but just not yet. Um, it could be that you just need to tune into yourself and have a little bit of you time. Okay, so let's see what else is coming towards you. You could be um, purchasing something for your face, like a roller or something. I actually sell um, rose quartz rollers in my shop. So if, if you're interested in those, I sell those. Um, I'm pretty sure they're still in stock. Um, also face masks. I'm also hearing, so... By the way, guys, if those face rollers aren't in stock, because I haven't checked the stock for a while, um, if they aren't in stock, just comment down below if you're interested and I'll get some more in as well. Okay, I do see this newfound sense of security coming in. It's like you're getting security out of something you never thought you would have. So it's like a new release of some kind that's coming through. Okay, let's move these cards over. I just feel like you are very overwhelmed right now and you're not sure where to go. You're just really not sure, like, what... What's, what way you want to go so I do feel you're going to feel a lot more comfortable things are going to start shifting for you because you are getting space and time to just reflect and I do feel as if you guys are wanting to start a new business adventure or something like that and we also have yeah the ace of pentacles which is literally to do with career which I love so we have two aces here which is really important showing you that you're starting something new and if you're going to, if you're feeling overwhelmed right now just recognize that you may just need to take a break or just pull away and just because you're not you know you're relaxing and you're giving yourself love it doesn't mean you're not being you know practical or you're not doing anything it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean you're not doing anything basically so yeah you guys are feeling really uncomfortable right now or there's a sense of just ending something but look at that oh my god we have another ace oh my god that's insane so definitely part of you is is coming into the new you it just may feel a little bit uncomfortable right now because this is a new ending and this is an old ending and a new beginning um and you're going to see things more clearly so you may have to kind of cut some cords with people or certain things or the way you think about yourself i am hearing you um having like a negative thought and you finding a practice that helps you shift your perspective around that thought so it could be meditation 
And I'm seeing you talking for somebody from the past. Somebody from the past may be coming up to help resolve something. Um, but you guys, you know, when somebody comes up from the past, it's completely your choice how you deal with it. And these things happen for a reason. You know, sometimes we don't always know what that reason is. But sometimes the reason is to literally set your boundaries and just say, no, nope, not interested, bad bitch. You know, <laughs> I'm not interested. Or if you want to give that person a chance, freaking go for it. Whatever you feel is right for you. But I do feel like a new sense of balance is coming in for you because we did have that Libra energy which is beautiful, whoa, that's crazy, revolution, we did literally have a solar eclipse, so that's a massive synchronicity for you guys, this is a timeless reading, but that's obviously important, Neptune sacrifice, this is Pisces energy, all about you guys focusing on yourself and realising that it's time for you to, you know, just be yourself, and I do feel like you guys may be researching something, Aquarius is all about knowledge, it's about newfound um, sense of of knowing of some sort like research and things like that so I do feel as if you are wanting to research something you wanting to get to the bottom of something could be you doing like a past life reading with somebody or learning about astrology or something like that or even like going to nursing school okay so let's see what else this is also this is a newfound like a newfound um stability coming in okay we have 10 Aries moon so you guys could be Aries moon. I keep getting massive amounts of anxiety in my solar, solar plexus. I feel like you're scared of asserting yourself or you're just scared of being you. Guys, if you're feeling really sensitive, you guys need to just take a break. I feel like you guys have really overexerted yourself. Sometimes we don't even realise when we do that. I mean, I don't always realise that I've overexerted myself. So sometimes it's time to just um, step back. So Aries moon, this is all about how much you want to accomplish and you'll get you get a lot of satisfaction out of feeling accomplished so I feel like you are focusing on your career you are getting back what you've been giving out in terms of your career and you're getting the recognition that you desire and I feel like with the Aries moon you're feeling really like whole and complete and just feeling really comfortable within your own skin so I feel like it's an, a new sense of finding out what's been missing so if you feel like you need to just do something but you're not sure what it is I feel like you're going to find out what that is very soon so I do feel like also you could be getting some knowledge from an Aquarius or it could be that within this new um, kind of revolution of the Aquarius age you pick up a new hobby or something that really suits you that you've never found out before or I feel like you guys are looking at your parents or you possibly could be researching your history and looking at what they used to do as their um, career or job or hobby and you're like oh my god I would love to do that possibly because you have all that already those traits within you maybe that your great grandma or your grandma loves doing a certain thing and you're like, you know what, I should try that. And you're feeling a lot more open to new, a new uh, situations that are coming through. I just see like a new opening coming for you and like a new idea or a newfound sense of security and stability. So thank you so much for watching guys. I really hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like a private reading or you want to check out my crystal store, all the information is down below. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll speak to you very soon. Much love. Bye.